Energy prices in the UK and all around the world have been skyrocketing recently, making it more important than ever to save energy in your smart home wherever possible. Let's look at three ways that I use my smart home to save money on my energy bill and let you know how you can get involved and join me in being part of the energy challenge. The first way I save energy in my smart home is by having every light in my house connected to a motion sensor. The great thing about motion sensors is that obviously it means that your lights will come on instantly whenever you enter a room. But on the flip side of that, it means that lights can be turned off whenever no one is in the room to actually use them, which is a huge saver in terms of energy usage. Leaving lights on in rooms that people aren't in makes no sense at all. So turning them off when someone leaves a room makes complete sense. Many of us are guilty of turning lights and lamps on whenever it gets dark and leaving them on all night until we go to bed. Or even worse, forgetting to actually turn them off when we go to bed. So the savings here could be huge. I also combine these motion sensors with current light levels and illuminance sensors. And that in turn means that in the summer months when daylight lasts much longer and there is much more sunlight, my lights and lamps don't actually come on until the light level drops below a certain value. And this, coupled with the motion sensors, is a really powerful combination. For example, I have seven lights that I used to frequently turn on for hours each night. Two lamps in the living room, two in the hallway, and three under counter LED strips in the kitchen. Each one using on average around eight watts each. And I used to leave these on all of the time for hours every night. But now using motion sensors and light sensors, I estimate that I've reduced the amount that each one of these is on for by about four hours. So that's 56 watts of power less for four hours every single day. Using my current energy tariff pricing, this is around 30 pounds of savings per year. And that's just one of the many avenues that we can go down to save energy in our smart homes. And all of these will add up together and result in a bigger overall saving. The second way I save energy is with my bed sensor. Many of you will know this already, but a while back I built my own bed sensor, which essentially turns the bed into a giant set of scales and detects when either one or both of us are in bed. The reason for doing this is that it allows me to run many automations based on this bed sensor, including the ability to turn everything off when we are in bed for the night. Every single light will turn itself off, as well as TVs, speakers, computers, fans, and anything else that may have been accidentally left on that will be turned off until the next day. It also sets my house alarm and does a bunch of other things, but in terms of actual energy savings, I think it's the best way to shut your entire house down for the night. Calculating energy savings for this one is a little difficult since it varies depending on if you have accidentally left anything on. But let's take this computer behind me as an example. I pretty much used to always leave this computer on constantly, all day and all night. In fact, it used to be an older system that used to use a lot more power at idle than this one does, but let's use this one as an example. This computer uses about 50 to 60 watts on idle, and it previously would just get left on for 10 hours overnight when it wasn't doing anything. Now that I have a bed sensor, that shuts down this computer every night, and that is a big saving of 75 pounds per year just from this one computer alone. And there has certainly been other instances where I've accidentally left a light on overnight or forgot to switch an extractor fan off, but now our, these things are easily fixed with this one sensor alone. So that's the reason that I love the bed sensor and I think it's the one of the most effective sensors that you can use in your smart home. The final way I save energy is with automating my heating. Now the boiler for the heating for this house is in the garage and when I bought this house a few years ago I found that there was no thermostat inside the house and all of the heating programs were done by going out to the garage and setting a manual time schedule for the heating to come on and go off for each day of the week. This sucks for many reasons but one of the main ones is that it means that your heating is always going to come on regardless of the temperature inside of your house. It could be 25 degrees outside and the heating is still going to come on 
because that's what it was told to do. So one of the first things that I ever did when I started my smart home in this house was to connect a simple smart relay from Sonoff to my boiler and then using Home Assistant to connect that to temperature sensors all around the house and then that allowed me to control the heating based on the temperature inside of the house rather than on some random time schedule. I also recently added some of these TRVs from Shelly to radiators around my house. So that way we can control the heating to individual rooms. The upshot of this is that similar to the motion lights that I mentioned earlier, it means that I can now only heat the rooms that people are actually in and using while shutting off the radiators in rooms that we aren't. And this is a much more efficient way to do heating. I'm not even going to try and work out or calculate the savings here as I wouldn't know where to start, but I think we can all agree that this is a much more logical and efficient way of heating your house as a whole, where your heating responds to the temperature rather than a set schedule. So those are just a few of the ways that I like to save energy using my smart home, but why am I telling you this? Well, firstly, I hope that it gives you some ideas and inspiration for how you could implement some energy saving techniques in your own smart home too, to save yourself some money on your energy bills. Something we could all definitely do with right now with how high energy bills are getting, but also to invite you to take part in the energy challenge. If you didn't know, it's Earth Day today and Brian from Automate Your Life has invited me as well as a bunch of your favorite smart home creators and you guys to take part in the energy challenge. The energy challenge is about challenging us as smart home users to see how we can take our smart home devices and sensors and connect them together in ways that save energy in our homes. And we want to see how much energy we can collectively save as a group, as a unit over the next year. To get involved with the challenge, just head over to the link in the description and fill out a short form letting us know how your energy saving automation works and how much you think it will save you over the next year. Now, we know that making the calculations might be difficult, so just put something down as your best guess so that you can be entered. Don't forget to select me or your other favorite creators from the dropdown for how you heard about the energy challenge. Not trying to influence you, but you should definitely pick me and the only logical choice those other creators can get. If this then that is kindly hosting this challenge, so you can go to the other link in the description where it will take you to a website where it will display how much money we've collectively saved and how many people are taking part in the energy challenge. And you can keep a track on this as the year progresses and we can see how we are all doing together as a group and as a unit. So come take part in the energy challenge and see how much money you could save yourself over the next year, either by using some of the energy saving methods that I used in this video, or maybe you have some different ones. In fact, to drop a comment down below with some of your favorite automations that save energy in your smart home and share them with everyone else so that we can all use them in our smart homes too. Make sure to check out videos from all of the other amazing creators that are releasing videos today. I'll have that playlist linked over here if you want to check those out. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed. Make sure to select me in the drop down and I will see you in the next video.